So I'm going to welcome you today to this program on best practices in pediatric immunizations. We are the CHIC project team and we first presented this learning collaborative to practices in the state of Idaho in the fall of 2012. Um, this slide really is just to show you some of the partner groups that we work with regularly in the state on our learning collaboratives, and we had the privilege on this particular project to work closely with the Idaho Immunization Program and the Idaho Immunization Coalition. So this slide shows you uh, some of the different practices that participated in the original learning collaborative and represents a variety of groups in different areas of the state and includes both family physician practices, pediatric practices, and um, some health centers as well. What we're trying to do today with a learning collaborative is something that's a little bit different than a traditional um, CME type lecture where providers go, they learn some new things, they take them back, they try to convince their office to make that change, and in general we don't succeed very much of the time. What we're doing with a learning collaborative is we're bringing the whole team and involving them in the process because it really is a process. It's not only about specific disease information, but how you do these things well. And it really requires your whole team. And so as you can see in this learning collaborative overview slide, you start by getting your team together. You have a presentation that includes best practices and best processes. And then what you start to do is to run cycles of change, documenting them with the PDSA form, um, and then looking at how well did you do at achieving your aim and changing your processes. So the goal in this particular learning collaborative is as a project aim to improve the overall two-year-old immunization rate for children aged 22 to 26 months. Idaho has the privilege of alternating between 49th, 50th, and 51st position nationally in terms of our overall rate. We're going to do it with some specific learning objectives. We want you to take away from this what are best practices for immunizations, what are best processes for immunizations, what are some things that you can do when you're dealing with parents that are refusing immunizations, and we also want to teach you some basic QI principles so that you can make these changes this time in your practice and use those in the future when you want to improve processes. I also need to disclose for you, none of our speakers, planners, or anyone associated with today's Immunization Learning Collaborative have any relevant financial relationships to disclose.